Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and if this is your first time joining me, welcome. I've been content creating for the past 10 years and here on YouTube, I do a lot of accessory and handbag videos. And today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. I'm so excited to partner with them. I love their jewelry. Um, I've been wanting to try some of their pieces for a really long time and they were so kindly able to send me a few pieces. Pieces that I have been eyeing for a very long time and I've been wearing them nonstop for the past like month or so and I'm obsessed. So I'm a big ring girl. Rings are my favorite piece of jewelry. I always have at least like one to two on at a time or maybe even more. And Ana Luisa sent me two beautiful rings. So here we have the rope pave ring, which is just like one of those croissant rings that has a little bit little diamonds all interwoven and then on the it has like regular rope on the side then we have the zeta ring which i'm obsessed with and i've been wearing this every single day it's like the perfect ring for casual days but also if you want to if you're getting more dressed up and say like you have like a really fancy ring on one hand and you want something kind of simple but still like a little statement piece um this is perfect. It just has like the little like crisscross design, like little quilting design all around it. I'm obsessed. I'm a size seven in rings and these are very true to size. Probably the truest two size rings I've ever worn. They're not adjustable, but they go on and off so easily. And I cannot say enough good things about them. Then I have been very into dainty bracelets mostly because i want to wear a bracelet every single day and i kind of don't want to take it off um and that's exactly what this bracelet is it's a tiny diamond bracelet that just goes all the way around adjustable so i have very small wrists so i have it um on like the second um the second pull and it just like sits really nicely it has little diamond studs all around and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's you can't even feel it on your wrist. I'm like a big on not feeling the jewelry on my body. Um, and this because it's like nice and tight, but not too tight. It doesn't like it doesn't um, jingle. It doesn't like move up and down my wrist. It just like lays perfectly perfect stacking bracelet. I would say this is great to wear if you have like another piece of another bracelet or watch that you're constantly wearing it's just so 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 nice like i love and they all look so good together like even the rings look really nice when you wear them together they don't overpower each other which i really like Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that is carbon neutral. All of their packaging is carbon neutral it came in this gorgeous little tiny box with these pretty dust bags so it's carbon neutral so good for the environment um and all of the pieces are really really special and very elegant and just add a little adds a little something to your jewelry like you could wear them all together and it's not too much you feel like yourself but you feel a little more put together and i love that about all of their pieces but anna louisa starts at 39 dollars so from $39 up, you could get like any piece of jewelry that really fits you and your aesthetic and your vibe. And I'm very about the vibes lately. And they are kindly giving my followers 10% off your order. So make sure to click the link in my description and you'll get 10% off your Ana Luisa order. I definitely do recommend the rings. Big ring gal, like I said really really obsessed with the zeta ring but also love the um pave rope because i love a good croissant ring and this one just has a little extra something and then if you're looking for a dainty bracelet this is the let me double check the name this is the lorena and it's so nice so yes thank you Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video now let's get into my luxury collection today's video is all about my luxury collection now my last video we did handbags today is all about the slgs and my luxury jewelry that i have so i have wallets i have makeup cases i have planners i have a little bit of everything so let's start off with the slgs and my 
wallets. Um, so I have a few. I've always been somebody who loves a good wallet. I love a good SLG. So that's what we have right now. So let's go from smallest to largest. So right up, first up, we have my Louis Vuitton monogram coin purse. I wanted this piece for years. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I do carry a lot of coins with me, but usually will only carry them when I know I need to like park somewhere um, because I need like money for the meter. But it's just the cutest thing. It's so chic. Like every time I pull this out of my bag, I'm just like, this is like the coolest thing ever. I'm obsessed. I love this. I got it on eBay for like maybe $200. Um, and if you sign up for my newsletter, I give all my, for, like my welcome um, email is all about how to, how I buy luxury um, for a discounted price. So if you want my secrets, sign up for my newsletter. Um, but yeah, it's just really pretty gold hardware. I love it. Next up is newer to me, and I've wanted this piece also for a really long time. And it's the Rosalie coin purse in Damier bin with rose ballerine. This is my first rose ballerine piece, and I was so excited to get it. Also got this on eBay for like 200-ish, maybe a little less than that. But I just have it. I think I recently showed this. So it's a made in Spain. I have like, this is the, my current wallet. So I just have like my cards and some cash. And you have a little coin purse. I think there's like a stain inside the coin purse, which is why it was um, cheaper. But I love Damier Bin. And I especially love Damier Bin with the pink. I think that's really, really special. And it's just super tiny. It's like really the size of a regular card case, but you can fit a little more. And I really, really love this. Then I have a Damier Bin Key Clay. I got this also from eBay. My, I made my sister buy it for me for Christmas one year. I think it was like $100, like really cheap. Um, not in the best condition, which is totally fine. I really didn't care about that. It has like some tarnishing um on the chain and then just like regular key clay inside um but like the canvas is in perfect condition like no rubbing no peeling it's obviously damier bin so it's it's um dark already and doesn't really show a lot of wear i mean the zipper obviously is like not in the best shape which i really didn't care about i really just wanted i just wanted this um, I'm going kind of fast. I don't know why. Um, where? Oh, then this was my first Louis Vuitton SLG. And it is the monogram key, key clay with the groom illustration. I really like Louis Vuitton's old illustrations more than the new earth ones like i love the groom i love like the family vacation like i love those and i especially really liked the yellow and white um and the inside is yellow as well i haven't used this in a while i gotta break her out but once again the keychain is not in the best condition there was like some tarnishing um but like and obviously like here you could see like the groom is kind of scratched off a little bit and over here but it was in really good condition i think i paid a little more for this and i think i bought this on trade z um a while ago but i really really love it and um maybe for the fall I'll, I'll bring bring it back out because i haven't been showing my key clays any love lately and i haven't been using a keychain so maybe i'll maybe i'll do that this one i also really wanted and it is the, I think it's the Emil wallet and um, bought her from eBay. This I think happened when I had it. And I know that that button scratching off um, is something that just happens with these wallets and there's nothing you can do about it. But this one has the like hot pink interior and it was made in France. I love this wallet. It's my one big wallet um, because I do tend to like gravitate more towards my smaller wallets, but I also just feel like I needed just, I just needed a big wallet. Maybe when I, for when I carry a big bag around, I could probably switch out to this, but it just has the four card slots. It has cash placed here. Um, 
a deeper pocket here, another pocket here, and then the coin purse, which I do have coins in it. Um, though I do carry around, obviously, the mini coin purse. But I just love it. I think that, that this is a very classic silhouette for Louis Vuitton. I like the little, like, Mona Lisa smile here. I like the pink interior. I like that your cards are right here, but then you have so much room back there. Um, I think this would be a really good travel wallet um, if you need to keep, like, res um, like tickets, boarding passes, stuff like that. Um, and I just think it's really nice and slim, even though it is big. It's it's hard to like over stuff this wallet to the point where it like loses its shape. So really love this. Now um, I have two more wallets. So first up is my Chanel card holder. This was the first piece of Chanel that I ever got, and I bought it from Tradesy. Um, and it came with like authenticity card and packaging and everything and it's in beautiful condition pretty sure this is lambskin don't know the color oh i have a receipt in here and when you open it up it just says chanel it has one card slot here and then a nice pocket here i think it's very similar to the rosalie coin purse though oh yeah they're pretty much the same size if anything i think the Rosalie is slightly bigger um but yeah I love it it's in like a beautiful like beigey pink I try to use this but and I also don't baby it I haven't used it in a while but maybe I'll break it back out um and I keep mm, them in their dust bags I mean I don't know where my Chanel dust bag went so I just keep it in a larger Louis one um yeah and then finally, my last SLG, well, my last wallet is a Saint, Saint Laurent card holder in black. I bought this the first time I think I got a bonus at work um, a few years ago or when I got a promotion at work. Um, I bought this new. This is like, this is the only new thing aside from some of my jewelry that I've bought like I bought it from I think Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's um and I kind of low-key want another one I think maybe in brown um I've been very into brown lately but it's just like the normal card holder with the YSL logo it has kept its shape really nicely this entire time I think I've had it for like three or four years and there's like nowhere like there's not like a dot and my, I've let my sister use this too. And she's not super careful with stuff, but it still has its like puffiness. It still has like no marks on the gold hardware. It's still slim, like not um, like the, like the quilting is puffy, but the wallet is still very thin. I really, really love this. I think this might be one of probably my favorite out of everything. Cause I just think it's like so sophisticated. And it's just really luxurious. And I keep her in her dust bag as well. Um, let's do sunglasses. So I have two pairs of designer sunglasses. I have like some, um, I have like Marc Jacobs and Kate Spade, but these are like my luxury sunglasses. So these are Tom Ford. These were my mom's, or they were my sister's, then my mom's, and now mine. I don't wear them a ton because I honestly have been wearing these other ones that I'll show you. But not like crazy about them but I feel like they'll come back in style eventually I'm also not somebody who wears sunglasses a lot because to be honest I forget that I I have them and some strange part of my mind forgets that you can wear sunglasses in the winter so I'm like only wearing grabbing sunglasses in the spring and the summer and like that makes no sense um but yeah so I have these Tom Fords I have no idea what they're called they're just black sunglasses but these I bought last year on a whim because I saw Emily Gemma post that they were on Nordstrom Rack for like a ridiculous amount of money off I think I got them for like $70 it was like a joke and they're Fendi and I don't have anything Fendi my mom has a Fendi baguette which I think I've worn once 
but I love these sunglasses so much. They have like the FF logo all around. They have the FF logo here. They're really nice. They have like a very flat frame as opposed to this that are like more bug-eyed. Obsessed with them. I could I use them when I drive or like when I'm just out and about and I love them. I love how they look on my head. They're just like really cool sunglasses. I love them. Like they're they're the kind of sunglasses that are probably never going to go out of style because they have like an ombre frame. They're the hard plastic. They're very classic, almost Ray-Ban like shape. They're just so nice. Um, I think they're probably still available. Oh, obviously everything will be linked down below wherever I could find it. And it could, they came in this case. So very, very cool. Um, now I'll just, we'll, we'll do two little random ones. I have this bandeau from Louis Vuitton. I bought this for my birthday one year, which reminds me I forgot something else. So I have to go get it. But yeah, I bought this for my birthday from eBay. It's just a pink bandeau. It has, um, I don't, I don't even know really what it is. I think it's like a map of, of Paris or of France, uh, but I don't know. It has like the steamer trunk. It has the keep ball. It's just really pretty. I keep this on my, um, I usually will wear this on like my Pochette Matisse or my Speedy, but it's just really nice and I like it. I want more bandos. Um, that might be one of my next purchases. And then one of my most prized possessions. Um, and even though I have my Stony Clover obsession and haven't really bought a makeup pouch that wasn't Stony Clover in about four, three years, I will never get rid of her. She is the multicolor cosmetic case. I think this is the PM size, I don't know, with hot pink interior, I dye so beautiful i don't let anybody use her she just kind of stays mounted on my little like handbag collection and i love her i will never get rid of her i would love the white one um she has a nice patina paid a nice chunk of change for this um a few years ago and i just think she's so cool i love her um and i forgot two things now so let's go see I knew I was going to forget something. First, we'll do this, my Burberry Bear keychain. I wanted this for so long. I think like ever since I was like a little girl when Burberry was like really hot and like I'm into like bringing, trying to bring Burberry back. So who knows what'll happen, but I got this a few years ago. I wanted the little bear. I was dying for him in pink. Was, would have been happy with whatever color, but I love him. I don't use him as a keychain. I put, use him as a bag charm. He's so cute. He usually just sits right up there. I just think it's so cute. I love it so much. I would love another one. They're just adorable. Um, and I think he was like brand new from eBay. I forgot how much I paid for him though. And then finally, one of my other Louis pieces that I once again died for back in the day and it is my denim scarf. This was a birthday present to myself one year. Bought it from eBay, it was new with tags. I leave her hanging in my closet and I break her out in the fall and the winter. She hasn't seen the light of day in like a year or so. Um, just because I feel like I didn't go many places last fall because of COVID. And obviously didn't go anywhere the year before because of COVID, but very excited to bring her out again. I just think that this is like a really nice piece to have, whether you get it in the denim, you get it in the black, you don't, you get like a Gucci or a Fendi one um, instead of Louis. I just think that to have a designer scarf that also doubles as like a poncho or something like that is really, really just like classic. And I feel like it's never going to go out of style no matter what. Um, so very, very happy to have that. I just love small leather goods and accessories so much and I always have. I mean, clearly if you saw my Sony Clover collection, you know that I love accessories, obviously like obsessed. So now we are going to move on to jewelry. 
and I am including my Tiffany jewelry in this video. I don't have a lot of designer jewelry from like the fashion houses, but I consider Tiffany a luxury. It is a luxury brand in my eyes. You could get pieces, yes, as, as cheap as $100, but like you can definitely spend upwards of like thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars on Tiffany. So we are including it. Um, so I have always loved Tiffany since I was a little girl. Tiffany was like kind of the first, um, some of the first pieces of jewelry I ever had. And I, aside from like maybe two pieces that I really outgrew, um, I have all of my original Tiffany jewelry and Tiffany is something that I still buy because I just really love it. And even though I wear a lot of gold, obviously, I still love a good silver piece every now and, and again. And there's something about Tiffany's that really just makes me very, very happy. Like I love Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's my comfort movie and I just, I just love it. I loved it so much that in 2007, I had a Tiffany blue room. So yeah. So first up, the iconic toggle bracelet. She is in her dust bag because I need to go get her cleaned and I also need to get, um, like I said, I have very tiny wrists and she is too big. I think she was always, I don't know if she was always that big, if I lost weight, if my wrists got smaller, I don't know, but she needs to be cleaned and she needs to have her link, her links done. Um, but yeah, it's just a regular, the regular toggle return to Tiffany's bracelet. Then my other Tiffany jewelry, I have been keeping in my Stephanie Gottlieb's Stony Clover. Um, I separated everything. So in my black Amazon jewelry box, I have my gold jewelry. In here, I have all of my silver jewelry. So next up is my little Tiffany ring, little heart ring. Um, I was talking to somebody who works at Tiffany's on TikTok. And she was like, oh my God, she's like, I haven't seen one of those in so long. I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, she's just a little silver ring. I love her. Then I have, this is new. Um, I don't think that this is a Tiffany chain. Oh no, it is. I just have an extender on it. She needs to get um, cleaned too. But I bought this on... Poshmark when I saw it last year I was like I need that because it has a pink splatter like that's why I needed it and I just bought the the charm on Posh um so pretty just classic return to Tiffany heart with the pink splatter I think that's so it's like classic but also a little like unique and chic um what's this that's not Tiffany's um, then I have the Tiffany beaded bracelet with the, um, heart in my arms, um, with the, with the, with the blue heart. And I bought this really for no apparent reason by myself. Like I literally walked into Tiffany, I went to Tiffany's one day and I was like, I want that bracelet and I bought it and it was like a baller moment for me. But yeah, she's like really hard to wear. Um, and I feel like I need to, like, figure out a better way to, to wear this. She also tarnishes very quickly, but I digress. Um, then I have two other pieces. This I got for my birthday this year um, for my mom and my sister. It's the crown charm. I really just want, I, like, saw it and I was like, I need it because my brand name is Royally Pink. I just couldn't she they the problem with tiffany jewelry and really all silver jewelry is that it tarnishes very quickly and you are supposed to keep it in like a ziploc bag in the side of the dust bag and i did that until i got this and i decided to keep all my silver jewelry together and like the inside is supposed to be non-tarnished and i do think that it works um so yeah just a little crown charm with tiffany chain and then this I put, I took the other, I took this chain from, um, I took the chain that was on this necklace and put it on my other heart necklace, but this is just a double, 
Tiffany & Co. heart that I like have worn a lot. These are not technically, I don't know what you want to classify them as, but they're repurposed Chanel jewelry. So obviously somebody had button jewelry, um, Chanel buttons and repurposed them as jewelry. So I have a necklace, just a gold necklace on a chain. I don't know if the Etsy shop that I bought these from is still around. So I will try to link them or something similar in the bottom bar down below. And then to go along with that, I have a bracelet, which I really like. And also, I mean, this looks great together. That looks so cute. Um, so yeah, I have that. And then I have a Louis Vuitton keep, I think it's like the keep all bracelet in Damier, a bit, Damier Azor. I've had this for a while. This was like one of my first pieces of pre-love Louis. Um, these are all over eBay um, and highly recommend looking into them, but they're also like not that expensive. I mean, they're expensive. It's like they're like $300 in the store and I really want a monogram or Damier bin and I think that I'm gonna go this weekend and buy myself one because um, they're just so, so cute. And now something new that I unboxed that I got two weeks ago after scouring the internet for the perfect one, after for years saying I would, wouldn't get one. Take, let's take a moment for my first orange box. I don't know if I will ever in my life own a Kelly or a Birkin. I doubt it. But to have just one piece of Hermes is, I, it's all I could ask for. So what do you think this is? My first click clack. My sister has one in white and gold and I've worn hers before, but this is like a silver and, um, oh, it still has the stickers on it. So this was like new with tags under like, 250. I'm telling you, I am the queen of eBay. Um, so it is silver. Like I want to be able to mix metals and not feel silly about it. So yeah, so I got a silver bracelet. I guess it's like palladium and then it's like a light, light, light pink. And I'm obsessed. This is the PM size. Um, cause like I said, I have very small wrists and I'm gonna try to be really careful with this because my sister's actually broke. Um, oh, that looks gorge, obsessed. I love this, I've been wearing it quite a bit. Um, and it's just beautiful and I would really like a gray or a brown one. I'm very into brown lately. Oops. So yeah, so that is all my jewelry which is quite a bit. And now for the most excessive, the most excessive collection that I have, if you don't count Stony Clover, and that's my Louis Vuitton agenda collection. We'll go from smallest to largest. So first up, I have my PM agenda. This was, I think, the first one that I got. I've also in the past have had a Damier bin version of this, and I had a black multicolor, and that got stolen when my bag, a bag got stolen out of my car, and it was in there, and I was devastated. But yeah, she, you can see she has some marks. I think that that's just for me, and I don't even know what I do with this. I have my vaccine card in here, and then I just have like, I think I have like a men like I bought some mental health trackers inserts. I don't like I don't use this. In the past I have I tried using it as a blog planner once, which was like a disaster. I've tried using this as a wallet, whatever, whatever. I kind of will now just keep it in my bag to jot down some notes whenever I see fit. Then I have my Damiaya bin. MM agenda. This one is the one I'm currently using as a um like my on the go agenda. Like I take this with me to work and um I basically just have like 
some notes. I have um, doctor's appointment inserts. And then I have some um, mental health trackers. But yeah, so I have this one. And then I also have the monogram version, which I have been switching in and out of them lately. And I'm unsure of what to do because as you'll see, I have two other planners, one in Dami bin, one in monogram. So I don't know if I should sell one of these because after using these bigger planners, I don't see the need for both of these. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I am privy to like the my M, my monogram mm because i don't know i just as much as i love damier bin like i feel like i never get sick of this and but i don't know i'm i'm going off on a tangent so this one right now i just have all my extra um inserts in here i have like reading inserts which that was like the stupidest thing for me to buy um i have like random notes i have a capsule wardrobe insert and like skincare routine inserts and just like all my extra stuff. So love the MM, but I have always, 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 always wanted the desk agenda. And when I got a promotion back in like September, um, this is what and I got I had a I got a bonus and I bought myself this bought it used on Poshmark authenticated by Poshmark and I love her but I am like oh she's not all she's cracked up to be so right now I have this as my and I think what happened was that I was very overwhelmed with all of my planners because I have all my Sony, Sony Clover notebooks and then I have all these planners and it was just like a lot and finally I think I, I have found some sort of planner piece so I was using this almost as like a catch-all notebook type like at home but now I have deemed her my blog notebook and I think it works out better because even though I have all my Sony Clover notebooks and it's like as much as I love Stony Clover, I haven't been in like a Stony Clover mood lately. So is that a gray hair? Oh my god, there's like three gray hairs. Do you see that? Holy crap. Oh my god. We're gonna we're just gonna move on. Um I decided to I I just she's my royally pink planner. So I have a notebook that I can like write like ideas down and then I have my mind your business planner which is a whole other thing from um it's like specifically supposed to be like for creatives. So yeah, so this is my little royally pink planner. She stays at home. And then this is a big mama that once I realized I was like, okay, I have gone through so many different planners and I realized that like I like these agendas the best. I like to customize them. I like to have everything in one place. This is what I like. But I felt like I couldn't get as much as I needed out of the MMs. So after watching countless videos, I decided that I was going to be that girl and I was going to get the GM. And this is, I can confidently say, out of all these planners, this is the best one. It has the most space. It has the most common sizes. Um, they are the hardest to find, I would say, and the most expensive. But I just love her. She is everything. She is the moment. Um, and I knew that, and that's the kind of the reason, like, I knew that I had the desk agenda in Damier Bin. I have this in Monogram. And this is my main planner. Like, this is what I use while I'm at home. This is where my lists are. This is where like um my schedule is and I spend most of my time at home so I felt okay having this be like my home planner and then like the other one the MM is like my away planner and I whenever I need to jot something down in there I do um but they like don't have the same information in them but she is a hefty hefty planner I have her filled I and I might do like a whole planner video but I have like my notes I have a habit tracker I have 
um, just like lists and I, I use it as like almost like a folder because I have like the things that I need to like reference in here. Um, and I just, I love the GM so much. Um, like I think if you're looking to buy a luxury agenda and you are somebody who doesn't like an on the go planner and writes bigger and like needs more space, I would just go directly to the GM, don't even bother with the MM. Um, so that's why I'm kind of considering maybe selling one of the MMs. Um, and I feel like because this is like my main, because the GM is my main, my main homie, I might sell the, um, the monogram, but I don't know yet, especially because I have this in monogram too so who knows but yes that is my entire luxury collection in terms of accessories jewelry slgs um everything but bags um but yeah so once again just want to say thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video don't forget to go get 10 percent off in my link down below to get your own piece of Ana Luisa jewelry highly recommend everything I'm wearing I would really love a pair of earrings next. They have the cutest huggies. But I think that if you are a ring gal, definitely go for one of these. The Zeta ring, the Ropave, or the Lor or the um, Lorena bracelet, which is very nice and goes with so much. So yes, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on all my social media. And I will see you in my next video.